Today, we're going to talk about modeling multiplication equations using number bonds. Now, you've used number bonds since kindergarten. You might have had one that looks something like this. Two legs on the number bond. One of the legs said three, one of the legs said four. So the top of your number bond would say seven. So this number bond shows three plus four equals seven. Well, we use number bonds in multiplication too, but they look a little bit differently. So let's say that we had three times four equals 12. So we're using the same numbers in the number bonds, but the number bonds are gonna look very different. So I'm gonna draw the top of my number bond first. Now my first factor is going to show me how many legs. So this number bond needs to have three legs. And my second factor is going to show me how many in each leg. So I'm going to put a 4 in each leg. And then my product is going to be the top or the main circle of my number bond. So this is how you can use number bonds to model multiplication equations. When we multiply, we always make sure that our first factor shows the number of groups or on a number bond, the number of legs. And our second number shows the number in each leg. Our product will be the top of our number bond. So we'll squeeze one more in here. Let's say that I had five times one equals five. So I'm gonna draw my number bond. It's gonna have five legs. I'm gonna put the number one in each leg. And then my total is five. So that's how you use number bonds to model multiplication equations. Have a great day.